Hello everyone and welcome back to CIGTR channel. Today I'm going to make a new hairstyle uh, tutorial in Medibank Pen Pro. And you can see that this hat I already used in the last video and the, all the colors in here that I put on the adult lace layer into this folder so I uh, will turn it off and work in a new way. So you can see the different way and the different style in the same hairstyle is will have a different result. Okay, so uh, the hairstyle I already lined on here so I didn't have to lie uh, it again if you want to see how it is and you can watch the previous video and uh, this style I hope that with this style you can also color it with the mouse so first here I will create a new layer you remember that layer your color will be under the lighter color I will show you why is that uh, I'll talk about this uh, many times but I uh, will show you uh, why you can see that the folders in here, this is the color folder of this hair. If I put it above, you can see all the light in here will be disappear. And that's why I put it in here. And uh, what is clipping work for? Uh, so I won't talk about this later. Uh, you can see when I turn off the clipping and all the colors will uh, go really messy here. And it, with the clipping, it will work under the base color. Okay, so that's it. Now I will turn off this color and this layer 8 in here that will be the base color for this hairstyle. I will pick a color in here and then um, choose book a tool. You see that there's some things that I still didn't feel it someplace around here. So I will use pen tool. Uh, cheap pen or pen is okay just make sure that it has a thick color and then uh, you book it to again let me see mm. okay so that's it you use the bucket tool to fill all the place in here and later yeah, you will use pen uh, or cheap pen or whatever it is uh, have the thick um, color to fill on the blank space if you do this with a mouse uh, just carefully use um, the eraser to erase the unwanted part in here use E in here if you feel kind of really hard to drag it click one point and hold shift and then click another point that's it, it will erase on the part in here or else you can um, reduce your time by decrease the size of the brush to uh, make sure that you feel all the blank space in here okay now we have the base color for the hair and uh, the next step, you already know that we will create a new layer and choose clipping. Yeah, that's we will work under the base color in here to create a shadow. So first here, uh, I will use the select tool because this video I show you the way that you can paint the color uh, and hair, color the hair with the with the mouse. Yeah, so that's why you will use the select tool to have you a lot uh, and choose. Uh, the square in here after that in the box up here and you choose polygon the polygon in here just the same in the photoshop that you will can create uh, the straight line like this to uh, make a, a select area so first i must think about uh, the place that i wanted to put the shadow so the important keys for this style now that you will have to know where the shadow is and there's a tip that will help you to do that that you can create the, a layer that's it, on top of the, the, those layers so you can see it uh, and you will draw the place that you will put the light source and the place that the shadow will appear because the light cannot reach if you do with the mouse and find this kind of uh, too hard to do you can draw it in the paper so you can have the place in your mind where, where the place you will put the shadow so that's it 
And now go back with the layer nice in here that will be the shadow layer I will have and I use the polygon tool here I already talked one more tips here that will help you because you know that the polygon here that will make the straight line like this yeah so that's why it will give you a hard work later to make it soft and rounding but uh, we are so lucky with the features here in Mediband that's the round corner you will put the size that depend your choice that now I will put in here that's a 60% and you can see the result here the polygon here you will click one point and drag the, the uh, the, to, uh, the mouse to another place and click another point here and then you will click another point here so continue to do that after you finish your area double click it and you can see that's the result so with the round corner here you can see that will create the uh, round look for this one and because of that you know you still have some more job later because you see at the point in here that you intend to create the point it will also create the round look in here but it will it's still better than nothing and still better than you have to create the round look for this so that's it fine for me and after you're done with that you would use the fill tool here or bucket tool wherever you want uh, to remember to turn off this layer if you use the bucket tool and fill that you can see this and or you can use the fill tool if you intend to do what i'm going to do later that i will uh, uh, use whole shift and use the polygon here whole shift that and choose all the area in here then i will use the fill tool and drag on the place in here so i can fill all the 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 few that uh, the select tool already select so that's it and now. then after you deselect this one you can see that the result here that's the shadow you want to create so that's it i will continue my work and create more shadow here so just speed up this video okay so well we are done to the select area in here you can see in middle of my work sometimes i uh, use the uh, command or control <coughs> to deselect some place that i create it's kind of too big or some place I, that i don't want it look like that here and if you still have some like one more want to add you she how shift to add this so when you are done here as i talking before that i will pick the darker color for the shadow and then use few tool in here that holding n and then drag it then i will deselect and that's it the result you have is still not finished but you can see that you have the uh, great look at first for the uh, for the shadow in here and now your next job is you will use your pen here pen to no cheap pen or pen sharp if you are working with the mouse and draw some place in here to make sure that it looks better so if you are using the mouse here, I recommend that you use pen shaft and then click one point and then holding that like this, you see that will be the good result you will have with uh, the, the mouse and create some shaft look for the hair uh, like this. And then of course you erase it near hold shift to drag it like this to erase some part that you don't want to. And of course same for this one.
For some place that you want it look sharp, you can also use pen sharpen here and choose transparent box. It will work really perfect for this one. You can see the result that you will have here. So after you satisfy with the result, uh, the look of the shadows in here, you would use the hue and shadow texture as well if you need to because I find that this color is kind of dark and I want it to look more naturally. Now I will uh, make it look lighter and move it to the more beautiful color that I want to. Mm. Okay, I think this color is perfect for me. So after you've done that, you will choose Protect Alpha and that will be the next step that you will do. Okay, you choose the watercolor brush in here and decrease the size of those brush. And here you will see that there's some place there's some place that will be in the darker color. So just pick the darker color, pick this color and move it to the darker color here and you work a tool to feel that so you can see that the different look when you have the transition look like there's a darker and this is kind of lighter the contrast of those will make your hair look beautiful but this color is not really nice so i will pick the the use the one tone here selected and use hue transition again to make it look better okay if you like to use fine no, it's not. I kind of want it a little bit. Okay, that's perfect for me. I think this color looks great. And then you can see with the um, with the protein alpha here, I will create some tricks that make your hair look stunning. So click one point here you know that the, your hair is, will have many layers right so that will some that will create their own uh, shadow so click one point here and then hold shift and click to another point here you can see that it will create the shadows in here and because of the protein alpha i choose in here that means i will work only in the shadow areas in here not in other part and of course i use the water color brush in here to create this one the tricks to make it have the edge of the hair in here make it well and later it will combine with the highlight and it will look very beautiful and continue to do that like this if there's some place that you think is not sharp you want it to look sharp pick the color of uh, the shadow colors in here to pan it to make it look pointy like this and continue to the rest The last step will be creating the highlight for the hair. So you will create a new layer that's in layer 11 in here and choose clipping, blending, choosing, add, that's it. And pick the darkest color of the shadows in here. Then go back with the polygon tone to create the place that you intend to make it highlight like this. Fill it. You can see that's the result that you will have.
And then you see that you're done the highlight area. If there's some part that you think is not perfect, you can use the select tool to move that and then use move tool to move that area to the right place as you want it to. Like this. Well, of course, why don't you use freeze transform here to rotate uh, the place of the highlight area to make it look more naturally. Like this. And of course, if you're still not hap uh, happy with the um, highlight color, you can use here shadow rotation to move it to a more shiny color. That's it. Okay, so that is all about this hairstyle. Hope you have fun with that. Thank you for watching. Goodbye and see you next time.